hello guys welcome 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 to charity's bubble going to work <laughs> i am going to work today i have to drive very far away to go to work so i'm like let me do a video just to keep myself busy guys first of all i want to thank my subscribers guys you guys have taken me a milestone Hmm? I'm counting numbers before we reach 4,000 subscribers. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking them. When you watch my video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, just a thumbs up. Click on that thumbs up uh, notification and give it a thumbs up, guys. It really helps uh, the videos. Make a comment, you know. Even if uh, it's one, three words comment, you know, just make a comment and uh, interact. It's good to interact. Interaction is very, very, very good because that's the only thing that I can get from uh, the videos that I do. You like them, YouTube recommends them and they are viewed uh, in other places. But all in all, guys, I just want to thank you for being there for me and supporting me. If you are new there and you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly kindly consider subscribing guys we are almost 4,000 subscribers guys so uh, today I want to talk about a question that someone reached out to me on messenger I told you guys that I like to answer people's questions and she had a question but before that today is the 22nd guys we only have a few days before May 7 before we check uh, on our results, DV 2023. I know you guys are eager. So all you can do is to hold on and you have been very patient and wait until that time comes. Hmm? Now, I did my last video and um, there came up questions about the passport. Now, that passport, make sure that it is current. That's the only thing that I can tell you. Make sure that it's current. Current means that that is the one that is used in your country. Mm? It must be current. Now, there's another person who asked me if they can apply with an expired passport. You cannot. And right now, you have a lot of time before we start doing the application for DB 2024 because it's going to be in October. So if you want to, whatever, you can, you can, you can just take it. But uh, there's, no, there's not going to be a requirement of a passport next time. So it's going to be easier. But if you are processing... Your DV 2023, after it's, it has come out, if you're processing right now, of course you have done your DS 260 if you are a DV 2022. That's for sure. Uh, just make sure that your passport is current and uh, it is viable so that uh, you do not get surprises. Hmm? It's not good to get surprises. Now, I want to talk about uh, this question. It's a mother. She is single. And I normally get uh, so many questions uh, from the single people because they wonder how they are going to fare when they come here in the US. All, what I can tell you is that everything is doable. The hardest thing is to win that green card and uh, to do the process because the process involves a lot of money. Of course, that's going to be harder and trying to follow my GPS here. And then uh, after that, then you come. Now, this lady has got an 18-year-old that is an adult. When you are 18, you are an adult. And she has others, I think a five and a three-year-old. So she asked, how are they going to survive? Are they going to make it? Now, the first thing that I'm going to tell you is that you will make it. It doesn't matter even if you don't have an older child, you will make it. So she was asking if both of them can work and if they can make it. Now, what I can tell you is that when you come here with an 18-year-old as a parent, because I am a parent and uh, my son is 20 years old right now. So what I can tell you is that it is very, very important to encourage your child to go to college. Hmm? When you're coming, have a mindset that you will want your child to go to college. But since uh, they are not just going to go to college like immediately, when you come in, now for you like to start settling and all that, they can look for a job. They can look for a job, it can be a part-time job, it can be um, still a full-time job, an eight-hour shift job, because they will get a job. But uh, make sure that they are taking classes. 
college classes. They are going to class even if they are going to do like two classes because those classes do not take a long time. Maybe it's like uh, half a day. They go, they take some classes and then they can go to work. Now how you can do that is that you still have little ones and especially if you have a three year old, those ones, um, three, four years old, three, four years old, if you want to take them to school, they don't, they three years old, they can go to daycare and four years old, they only go to school for three hours. So your time will be, uh, your time will be, will, will still be caught up. And another thing about US is that you cannot impose your life on your children. So you cannot be a hundred percent reliant that your son is gonna um, is gonna be like uh, whatever. What can I say? Like he's gonna like take charge? Hmm? No, it cannot be like that. What I can advise you is that the first thing you can do is um, you have your child uh, apply for a college. After that, when they come in, because it's very very important for me. I know education is good. And then they can look for a part-time job that they can be going uh, for a job. Even they can go uh, to work from 2 to 10. Hmm? Or from, I know like the restaurants, they, they have very um, flexible times, especially if someone is going to school. So they can give them a time whereby they can be going to work and then they can come home before you go to your job. And then you as the parent, then you can look for a night shift job. I think that would work very well whereby maybe the night shift job that you're going to look for is going to be from 11 to 7. And normally, if it's 11 to 7 and you got that job, by the time you come from where you're coming from, and then uh, you go home, it's still going to be time uh, for your son to go to school because uh, she, he can register for a class that starts at 9 p.m. And that would work very, very, very well. But what I can say is that uh, you can work like that but please encourage your child when he comes here to go to college. It's very, very important for them to have that in their portfolio because um, they will need it. You want them to have something good hmm? because the jobs, I normally tell you guys that the jobs that you get when you come here, they are good jobs, but uh, it's not a job like that can be, that he's gonna be like to, he, he has to work very hard and to work many hours if he wants to just stay on a minimum wage. So it's important to have them, even if it's a technical course, they do it because maybe a technical course, they can start earning from 18 to $20 an hour, which is good. Hmm? And a technical course is not gonna take them a very long time. So I can encourage you to do that. And then you work together with your son, especially to watch the kids because they are adults. Uh, no, because he's an adult, you're very lucky because you have an adult child and you can leave him to watch the kids. So when you are going to work at night, because you have to take care of your children during the day, then you will leave your son with the kids sleeping because he's an adult, you can leave him. You know, that, that's a good advantage that you can leave him there. So that would work, that would work. And um, I, you also I mentioned that you know someone who lives here in Wichita and you have been talking about that with, with her which is very good because um, even her, she can give you some insight because normally what happens is that when you have little children, you work by schedules. Hmm? You have, you work by different schedules. Like for example, me, if I am going to work, uh, I normally work at night. Although right now I'm not working very much because of, I'm so caught up with school and I have a lot of homework and I have so many things to do. But what I can say is that you have to, it's very flexible here. You can do a schedule depending on the hours that you can work. Another thing you can do, you can decide that uh, you do not want to be working during the weekdays. Hmm? You stay home from Monday through Thursday, but you will go to work on Friday night. You work Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night, and then uh, Monday through Thursday you are home so that you can watch your kids, you can have them I do their homework. I have that schedule right now, and I think I'm gonna stick to that schedule until my kids go to high school, because I only I feel like I should be there when they're coming from school, so that I can monitor their homework, so that I can see how their day is going, and also so that I can do my parenting. So I prefer, uh, and even when I'm done with school, I'm still gonna continue doing that. I prefer going to work on Friday night, Saturday night. Hmm? 
and uh, since I go to school on Monday, so I, I am not working on, on on Sunday. But if you if you when you come in, you can decide you are going to be working Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You do twelve hour shifts. Hmm? When you do twelve hour shifts, when you do twelve hour shifts, those that's a full time job, hmm? and you will be able to sustain them and to sustain yourself. So it's very, very important. So it all depends on what you want. But uh, don't worry. I know you're waiting for your DV 2023 and I wish you all the best. Um, if you get it, then we'll go from there. So I just uh, hope that this is going to just give you an insight on how to do things here. But you should not be worried. You shouldn't be worried because uh, things here, they work just very, 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 very differently. Hmm? They work uh, very, very differently. So um, that's that. And you'll be all right. You'll be fine. Even if it's someone who doesn't, who only has one kid, maybe a, a little kid, they still survive. Hmm? You come, you look for a daycare. If you don't uh, look for a daycare, then you can... Um, if you don't look for a daycare, then you can have a friend. Of course, your host can direct you to a place that you can take uh, your child. There are some people who have daycares in their houses, but they are certified. It's good to go for some, to someone who is certified, and then they can be watching your child. So that can work. That can really work. So all I can do is wish you all the best. And as you wait for DV 2023 results, so thank you and God bless you.